All right, the guys let me in. Hey guys, this is Shock. And um, just saying hi to my motorcycle brother here. And as you know, the amazing atheist has backed down from a debate with me. He doesn't want to do it. Now he is an atheist, so he probably evolved into a chicken. So I'm sure he has excuses. Um, and also, it looks like the second atheist that I've debated on YouTube, it looks like he's afraid to debate also. I am speaking of non-stamp collector. So we got the amazing atheist. I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist because I don't think there's anything amazing about someone that would willingly deny that God exists and basically reject Jesus Christ reject his love for us and there's certainly nothing amazing about someone that would choose hell maybe amazingly foolish but certainly not amazingly intelligent so we got the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube that's afraid to debate me I gave him three weeks to respond. He does not want to debate. He's already told many of you that he doesn't want to debate me in emails and stuff. You guys send me the emails that he sends you. Now, so we went on to non-stamp collector. And non-stamp collector, I gave him three weeks to get back with me. Uh, he doesn't want to debate either. It's going on two weeks now. So... After he chickens out, which believe me, non-stamp collector will chicken out. I'm saying this so I hope he doesn't chicken out. Then I'm going to move on to another major famous atheist on YouTube. And I'll be challenging him also. And I'm sure he will chicken out. Now, I want to tell you guys something. Did you hear that Anthony Plew, if I'm pronouncing it right... A major atheist of our time, a brilliant author, brilliant debater, even though he was atheist. He now has become a deist. He does believe God exists. He believes. And he says that he believes God exists because of the evidence. Oh, fill the sting atheism. See, that's the same exact reason why I left atheism. The lack of evidence for atheism, but the evidence for God. He talks about modern science. Science, he said, helped him understand that it is overwhelmingly true that God exists. Now, he just recently left atheism and he's a deist. So they asked him about do you think that you're going to become a, a Christian? And here's what he said, and it was, it was really good. You can see this video on YouTube where he's talking with Lee Strobel. It's like an interview. And this guy, listen, this is a major kick in the teeth for atheism. To have a major atheist like this renounce and now reject atheism and say it's foolish. This is like getting the wind knocked out of getting the wind knocked out of you as an atheist. Um, to have this major atheist say, you know what? I believe in God now. This is a major problem for atheism. See, with modern science, more and more we're gonna see this happening. Look at Peter Hitchens, who was an atheist. He's now a Christian. Now, so check this out. Um, let me tell you why. Hold on. Let me tell you why. So why he left atheism. He, he believes that DNA, intelligent design, the teleological argument, the cosmological argument, he believes these are proof and evidences of God's existence. Now, I challenge all atheists here on YouTube to come into my chat room and bring it. Give us some good arguments why you believe atheism is true. And I guarantee you, 
uh, I'll debate you. I guarantee you will not be able to give better arguments than I can give that God exists. And Christian theism is true. I will prove that atheism is a bunch of crapola. If you click right below this video, see right below where it says more info or show more info. It says shockonhow.net. Go there and enter the chat room. It's a voice, audio, video. You could also type on the keyboard chat. And I'm challenging all atheists to go in there and debate me. Um, we haven't had one yet that has been able to give better arguments why we should believe atheism is true. They've all lost in debate, every single one of them. Not because they're dum-dums, but because there is no good arguments for atheism. There's none that trump the proof and evidence of Christian theism. So Anthony Flew, let me wrap this up. Um, he left atheism, he's a deist, and they asked him, uh, Lee Strobel asked him, you know, uh, what do you think about Jesus Christ or Islam, ex uh, etc., or are you just going to be a deist? And he said, well, he would never be a Muslim. He said, and then I couldn't believe it, he talks very good about Paul from the Bible. He said, I, I do love that Paul was very educated. He knew different languages, and it is true. Look at all those motorcycles, Dylan. Um, it is true that Paul is extremely educated. And then he says, and then the world's greatest philosopher, I mean, how could you compare to Jesus Christ? Let's see if I can punch through here. So, I'll see you guys. Guys and gals, right here below at shotgunout.net. I'm challenging all atheists to debate. We know the amazing atheist chickened out. He don't want to debate. I don't blame him because I would have destroyed all his weak, pathetic arguments. Can I fit through here? Let's do it. Tight squeeze. Uh, and now we're waiting for non-stamp collector to get back. I hope he doesn't evolve into a chicken. Why are all these atheists afraid to debate me? It can't be me. I'm certainly not talented. I'm just a dork on two wheels. I say it's my argument. The arguments for Christian theism totally destroy the arguments for the lie of atheism. So, come on atheist. Come on everybody. Come on in and watch me debate the atheist right here below this video shockonnow.net click enter chat room let's get this show on the road come on non-stamp collector where are you ali ali oxen free non-stamp collector <laughs> non-stamp collector is afraid to debate the amazing atheist i gave him three weeks he's afraid to debate you got to be careful when you challenge people to debate especially if they're atheists they might evolve into chickens I'll see you below. Shotgun out, not dead.